This is Timothy. Timothy is working on replying to the thousands of emails in his inbox right now, but little does he know that something is very wrong with the desk setup. Do you know what it is? Placing the computer equipment on top of a desk that is too tall does not let him use safe seated postures. Let's teach Timothy how to have a good seated posture. First, place your feet flat on the floor or use a footrest. Use the seat depth adjuster so your thighs are supported. Lean back against the chair so that your lower and upper back are supported. Relax the arms and shoulders. Place the elbows close to the side of your body. Have the input devices at elbow height. Place your eyes near the top of the computer screen. Stand when you start to feel restless. To achieve a safe seated posture at a desk that is too tall, see if the desk can be adjusted lower. Raise the height of the chair and use a footrest or add a keyboard tray. In Timothy's case, the desk cannot be easily adjusted to fit him and he doesn't like keyboard trays. Plus, even though Timothy enjoys sitting while working, he wants to stand more because he's concerned about all of the health issues he has heard about from sitting for too long. Isn't sitting killing me? Scientific research shows that long hours of sitting can be directly linked to health issues like obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, especially cancers of the colon or breast. If you don't have an adjustable table that lets you change positions, you can stand while speaking on the phone or use a speakerphone, visit a colleague instead of sending an email, or set a timer to get up and move every 30 minutes. If you do have an adjustable table, just remember to not stand for long periods of time because there are health concerns for this too, such as sore feet, swelling of legs, varicose veins, general muscle fatigue, and low back pain. The best recommendation is to change postures and move more throughout the day. How do I incorporate more movement and standing during the day? Well, if you were like many people, including Timothy, they thought it would be perfect to purchase one of those desktop units that go on top of an existing desk. So let's go back to Timothy's desk for a moment. Can you see how placing one of these units on his desk is a problem for using a safe seated posture? Without realizing it, the thickness of the platform elevates the height of the desk even further and prevents sitting well. The desktop units can provide the capability to stand for creative work and health and wellness, but should not overshadow being able to achieve a good seated posture. Please consult with Be Well at Work Ergonomics prior to purchasing this type of unit. Be Well at Work Ergonomics program promotes purchasing sit-stand desks that stand alone with user height range adjustability of 22 to 48 inches. These desks are part of the Matching Funds program, fit 90% of the population, adjustable for a good seated posture, and offer ways to change positions throughout the day. For creative work and to offset long periods of sitting, changing postures and moving throughout the day provides health benefits such as increases metabolism, offers gravitational stimulus to help muscles and bones stay strong, improves mood and energy levels, and may boost productivity. So what is a safe standing posture? First, you want good foot support, low-heeled supported shoes or insoles. Knees should be slightly bent and not locking. Shift weight and change your leg position often. Use a foot rest by placing one foot on top of it periodically. Place your elbows close to the body. Place the input devices at elbow level near each other. Have your eyes near the top of the screen or slightly lower. Sit down when you start to feel fatigued. What about anti-fatigue mats? Anti-fatigue mats are designed to reduce fatigue caused by standing for long periods of time. They are comfortable, but since standing for long periods is not recommended, these mats are typically not needed for computer work. Try wearing comfortable supported shoes when standing instead. Here are things to consider to strike a good balance while working. Your body is designed to move throughout the day. Standing or sitting in any one position for long periods has health disadvantages. Listen to your body. Change postures when you fatigue or start to slouch or slump forward. Start by standing for short periods. 
five to 10 minutes every hour. Increase standing gradually based on your comfort level and individual limits. Research findings recommend sit for 20, stand for eight, and move for two minutes every half hour. So the moral of this story is to place your computer equipment on a desk or use a keyboard tray that lets you sit with your feet flat on the floor and leaning against the backrest of an ergonomics chair. Using a height adjustable table that is part of the Matching Funds program allows this good sitting posture and provides the option to stand and move throughout the day for health and wellness. Remember to try and change it up every 20 to 30 minutes for a healthy combination.